for me, comparative literature is a, a fascinating field that is uh, paradoxically both something entirely natural and a highly self-conscious uh, intellectual construct. It's natural in that when we read, we range over cultures, languages, times, genres. We read Proust, Homer, Frost, uh, Dostoevsky, Borges, etc., and we implicitly compare them. That's just sort of a natural way of proceeding. But uh, comparative literature also, as a discipline, uh, requires you to reflect on and formulate your, your object of study because it's not given in advance. If you're studying French literature, you have sort of as a point of departure uh, the historical evolution of the of the of French literature, but in comparative literature, you you're almost you're at sea. You have to choose and decide: Am I going to study uh, a genre, epic, uh, uh, love poetry, um, the Bildungsroman, something like, or uh, uh, a period, uh, romanticism, uh, postmodernism in various languages, or uh, a theme, uh, the literature of despair, or or again, love poetry, or uh, Something of, or the Faust theme through the ages. That's in different different languages and cultures. So, uh, and therefore you need to reflect on the nature of your interests and of literary study and the possible methods for approaching an object before you can even even get started in comparative literature. So it gives you both great freedom and a responsibility for um, methodological and theoretical reflection. I think the humanities are an eminently practical thing to, to major, major in, um, both because uh, so much of, uh, so many jobs involve essentially um, um, analyzing information, reading texts and other documents, synthesizing, uh, writing reports, and, and discussing with uh, this, discussing with colleagues, and so, and it's really the humanities disciplines and the kinds of discussions that you have in humanities seminars that prepare people for this for this sort of activity, which is central to life. My my son was a was an art history major at Brown, and now he works in the financial world, and he's uh, as I say, he's always writing reports and especially trying to make reporting orally to an investment committee that is trying to decide whether his recommendations are good ones or not. And the, though it's the humanities skills rather than any, uh, any quantitative or uh, especially any scientific, uh, uh, scientific habits that, uh, that are crucial for him in that, in that job. But also, of course, the humanities uh, uh, are designed to get people to think, uh, we say think out, thinking outside the box is our, is our cliche, and certainly one of the virtues of comparative literature from this point of view is exposure to a wide variety of different, different points of view, different ways of living, different, different ways of thinking. And I think that's valuable uh, both in uh, professional life and also in your, in, your, in your own personal life as a way of enriching your, your engagement with, with the world and with uh, other people. Thank you.